Santa Claus. Now it's now March the 29th and it says Santa is a gay, black, and happy married in a new children's book. Santa is a gay, black, married in a new children's book. Now new children book will speak Santa Claus as a gay man in an interracial relationship publisher Harper's Design confirmed on Tuesday. The picture book Santa's Husband will tell the story of a black Santa and his white husband who both live and work in the North Pole. Santa's spouse often fills in for husband at mall appearances according to the time. Daniel Kilbert Smith, who is a staff writer for The Late Show with Stephen Kilbert, pinned the Christmas party after tweeting in December that he and his wife, Arthur Jennifer Ashley White, have decided our future child will only know about Black Santa. If they see a white one, we'll say that's his husband. Now, Daniel tweeted a photo of the book original concept art on Tuesday and that was the picture you know they had put is I can't believe it but it's officially happened the Santa has been coming to holidays in 2017 and also he put um here's a lot of rest of original concept art really excited to be working with her and everyone how do you, would you buy this book? Santa, black, and uh, white Santa in an interracial relationship? I guess they're in love. That's his husband. Okay, you see that? Would you get this book for your child and stuff like that? You know, it is amazing, you know. Me, myself, I never would have thought, you know, as far as doing something like that. Now, I want to change the subject a little bit and I want to talk about something else in reference to relationships and, you know, being who you are and being true to you. Now, this is my thing. When you decide that you want to live your life in your truth, just make sure that that truth really has sunk into your head as far as being true to you. And this is why I say what I say. Now there are a lot of guys out here who will learn that they are now officially going to live their authentic truth and be gay. Now the word gay bothers a lot of people and it makes them very uncomfortable as far as being true to themselves because it is like a word that people use to make fun of people, amongst a lot of other ones. Now, a lot of times guys can't deal with this at hand, so what they do is they'll try to find a transgender woman to live the life of a man. And when I say that, 
I'm not saying the trans lives lives the life of man. I'm saying he looks for a transgender woman to live the life of the man. And when I'm gonna explain this to you what I mean exactly. <laughs> Excuse me. He's gonna go on porn sites and it's gonna relate the transgender woman to that porn site. <coughs> Excuse me. He's gonna relate that transgender woman to that porn site. And for you guys out here who think that transgenders and porn is the same thing, it is not. Everybody is different. Every man is different, every woman is different, every trans woman is different. You may go into a trans um, video as far as porn and you're thinking to yourself, she's going to be more like the man inside of the bed and they're not that way. The girl you want that's doing that porn video that's the man in the bed, that's the one you need to contact. Now the thing about it is that a lot of times girls like myself are being targeted because we want to be, they want us to be their secret. They want to be able to walk around society and be around someone who represents and looks like a woman and can have the penis between his legs and not hers. Now the thing about it is that when you learn your truth, that transgender woman is not going to give you what you need. Sexually, that's not what you want. You are gay. You like men. You don't like transgender women. You don't like females. You like straight up men. And the problem that a lot of guys I'm learning are having, that they can't do with that. They let society dictate everything as far as their life, and they can't handle it. So what happens? He'll find a trans woman. He want her to be like the porn video, which she is not. And there are some trans women out here that are exactly what, what you're looking for. And, and if you're the kind of guy that's what you're into, find that girl who is a dominant type. We know within the LGBT, as far as trans, as far as gay, we have to ask, what position do you play as far as the bedroom? Because the one thing about it, I learned that two tops have a problem with each other, two bottoms have a problem with each other. And I'm not saying that it can't exist. I mean, it won't work. It depends on the two parties at, you know, at hand. But there are some trans women that are really serious about her transition and to become a woman. So anything that has to do with her using her. <laughs> using her. <laughs> using her peace on him. She doesn't want to have anything about it, you know. And like I said before, what to each his own. I'm not not that's what you went to for the guys. You want the girls like that, that's what you I'm not knocking that, that's what I'm saying. But you need to sit down and have truth within yourself before you go around picking every trans woman. You need to decide this is the girl for you as far as being a top. A lot of women do not are not tops. Now the thing about it is that they'll look at you, they'll look at your mannerism, look at your body build, they feel as though you can play the role of a top. Listen, you cannot judge a book by its cover just because it may look a little strong to you or more built or more dominant does not mean that she is a man in the bed for you. You know, and the thing about it that I learned that a lot of guys have to do with your truth. You like men. It's really not that bad. It actually be a good thing because finally you can live in your truth. Don't make another trans woman pay for something that you can't deal with. Don't make a female pay for something you can't deal with. Don't let a gay guy deal with something you can't deal with. It. If you're not able to deal with this situation, don't, don't, just, you need more time. Now, the thing about it is that you know, you've been saying, um, why are you bringing this up? Because I'm, I, I'm tired of dealing with this issue when it comes down to a lot of men who cannot deal with their truth. You know, and the thing about it is that they'll try to find something to hide behind. And they don't want other people in society to say, oh, you're gay. You're gay. That word bothers them so much. And it will drag everybody in their BS who do not have to be involved into it. And they make up a thousand excuses why they can't or can't. Oh, I have a problem. Um, 
um, when a trans woman says, well, I want you to make love to me, he'll go, oh, um, okay, but he can't get erect. He can't get hard because the simple fact of the matter is that that's not his position. He likes men to penetrate him. Now, we know a penis can, some penis belongs to trans, I get that, but I'm not going there right now with you. But a lot of times, a man likes penis. Even though he may want that trans woman to use her, she's on hormones. Do what you're true. Get a man that's penis has not been injected or influenced by transitioning into female. No estrogen is in his body. He loves the fact of being a man. Don't invite a trans woman to play the man because you cannot do with your truth. You know, and I'm just over it, you know, when it comes down to this type of thing, when it comes to these men, you know, you can't get it right, you can't get hard, you can't satisfy this woman, but you don't want this woman to leave you because she's helping to hide your truth. You actually get a chance to look at it as far as the piece up close and personal, but reality is that you have no sexual desire for her because you cannot live in your truth. Living your truth. Living your truth. Realize you're a gay. You like men. You don't like trans women. You don't like females. You like a hardcore man that's going to make you feel like a woman in the bed. Yes. And make the world a whole lot more better. At the end of the day, your happiness is more important. Don't take everybody through a whole bunch of different changes because you didn't do it with your truth. If you cannot do it with your truth, this is what you do. More time is needed. Stay home. Watch more porn. Whatever you got to do with in the day with it. With your body parts. That's on you. Anyway, the being said, I just wanted to share that with you as far as that. And as far as the um, Santa Claus, as far as being the top and basically the husband in the bed and the white Santa's husband. And <laughs> it's a mess. I can't. You know, but anyway, I would love to hear your feedback of this as far as Santa Claus. And do you agree with me? When you're a gay person who likes men that sit up there and they try to find a trans woman to play the man in the bed. Reality, he doesn't want her. He wants a man. But he doesn't want society to talk about him. So he used a trans woman as a beard or a female. Well, this is female because she has a penis. Unless they make a strap at all because I watched that too. But I'm going to stick on the transgender. He wants her to play the role of a man in the bed. When if that's the case, I'm not going to knock it. But... You really need to interview this trans woman before you pursue what you want. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to share this with you. And I would love to hear your feedback on this. Especially as far as Santa Claus. Especially as far as a gay man who's actually gay, who loves men, who can't deal with his truth to try to use transgender women to hide behind. I would love to hear you feel about this. And I want to let you know that I love you. And I want to thank you for watching. Cast the Radio.